<laughs> Margaret Ann Smith had it all planned out as a kid. The perfect dress and shoe combo, and to marry her future husband at the same place her parents married 32 years earlier to the month. More than anything, she wanted her loved ones there. Little did that little girl know, only months before her wedding date on April 4th, a pandemic would force her to cut her guest list down to a 15th of what it was before. Of course it was super upsetting because I had a lot of friends in Texas and around. But that wasn't going to stop them from accepting each other in holy matrimony. But we were still, like, we never hesitated. We were always going to get married. We didn't want to wait. Like, we were just so ready to be married. But contrary to what that little girl may have thought, planning a wedding was much more complicated than just picking out a dress and shoes. She and her then fiance Grant hired principal planner and owner of M. Elizabeth Events, Megan Cease. Luckily, she was there to help them navigate the sudden change of plans as well. Cease told the couple that they could still make this wedding happen. Let's do something meaningful. Let's do something that we're creating a cherished moment, but let's just do it on a more intimate scale at least while the coronavirus still poses a threat. For, I think, safety, to make people around you feel more comfortable, thinking about grandparents and older guests, or older family members, they may not feel comfortable in a ballroom of 200 people anymore. And the common buffet-style dinners may be a thing of the past as well. We do know that there, things could change and we may have to pivot and rescale and do a seated dinner. You know, right now, buffets are not allowed. So in the event of a smaller scale wedding or planning a wedding during this era, is a wedding planner still going to be as needed? Margaret Ann thinks so. I'm not really worrying about anything, just like having her do everything, like cancel everything I need to cancel and postpone and all of that stuff. It was truly worth every penny. The couple did exchange vows on their planned wedding day. As a girl, you think about this, how it's going to be, and like that changed, but we wouldn't have changed anything about it. Even though the details changed, she still got married in the perfect dress, the perfect shoes, and right where her parents did. 32 years ago. Landed Wexler, CBS 42, local coverage you can count on.